Hey, Tyler Northrup from Rosignol here. And what I'm holding is the 2014 Saffron 7. Uh, this ski is replacing the women's S3. Uh, it has the same waist width, which is 98 millimeters under the foot, um, but it's a completely new ski. Um, one of the major changes we made is with the, uh, the profile of the reverse camber. And uh, with the old ski, we, one of the complaints that we had is that the, the camber was pulled so far back that if you ran the, the tip into a heavy mound of snow, it would, it would fold it back and it would, uh, it would push snow and kind of stop your momentum. So we addressed that by bringing the camera down a little bit and uh, that really makes it easier to, to control. It makes it more consistent um, and it, it's, it's it, you're able to keep your momentum that way. We did the same thing with the camera on the tail. We brought it down a little bit, but we also squared the tail off. And what that does is uh, gives it more power on the finish of the turn, kind of gives it a stronger finish. And um, just like the uh, women's S3, it's, really, it's regular camera under the foot with reverse camera tip and tail. Um, but construction wise, there's a, there's a new insert in the tip and in the tail that has a, a honeycomb shape to it. And we're calling that air tip technology, which uh, it really brings the weight of the ski, the total weight of the ski down quite a bit and makes it a lot easier to, uh, to maneuver the ski. It makes it more agile. So here it is, the uh, 2014 Saffron 7. If you have any more questions about this ski, visit peterglenn.com.